Remington New Model Army, the second most common used 44 in the Civil War. Cool gun. Didn't um, Clint Eastwood use this in The Good and the Bad and the Ugly? You've got it. I came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my Remington New Model Army. It's one of a number of these that I currently have, and I'm looking to buy something else. Hopefully, I'll get about 2,000 for it. Do you know when this was manufactured? This would have been made in about 1864. Okay. It was definitely one of the guns of choice during the Civil War, but there was probably like 30 different styles of revolvers the Union Army ordered just because anybody who could make guns, they would buy them off of. That's right. In 1859, the U.S. military only had 12,000 soldiers. In 1864, there were 7 million on both the Union and Confederate sides. Yeah, that's a lot of guns. The Civil War created a huge demand for guns. So a lot of smaller gun companies like Remington and Sharps got huge as a result. And this is a really good one. The outside shows a little wear, but if you look in the bore, the bore is like a mirror. It's had very little use. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. During the Civil War, this was still a high-tech gun. One of the preferred methods was to have two, three, five, sometimes 10 of these cartridges preloaded, and that was a huge advantage to some other guns. You know, you could just pull one out, make sure your loading lever is at the right angle, and then yeah, Clint Eastwood made this look so much easier than the good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, <laughs> It's a good thing you're not fighting right now, isn't it? Um, yes, it is, because... Uh, I think you'd have been shot about 10 times. I always like to do business with regulars, and Civil War guns are always good sellers. But I just don't know as much about this as I do a lot of other guns. All right, let's just cut to the chase. Let's make a deal. Uh, let's slow down a little bit. If it was a Colt, I could tell you all about it. I would make you an offer right now. But it, it's not. I don't see a lot of these every day, and my understanding is there's like a million reproductions of these right now. Go ahead, you know, call in someone, you know, let some crazy guy come in here and tell you what I already know. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Regular or not, I'm not buying this thing until I know 100% it's real. Rick. How's it going? Good. That's the gun. The guys call me down here when they need to know the actual market value of a gun, not what it's listed for, but what it sells for. Uh, Remington New Model Army. This is a great gun for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, the government liked it because it was cheaper. I think the cost was 15 bucks a gun. Uh, the Colt was 25. Oh, okay. I know they make a lot of reproductions of them. Yeah, they actually make more reproductions of this gun than they made original ones. Okay. It's still in production today, and there are a lot of reproductions out there. A lot of times when I get called to look at a Remington, I show up and it's an Italian reproduction. Very good gun, no historic value. You want to look at the patina? You know, this gun has not been, in my opinion, refinished, uh, and it's in great shape. Uh, if you look at the top, you see the uh, uh, Remington nomenclature here. Uh, there are three lines here. They made them in a two-line and a three-line version. The three-line version's later, so I would expect this gun to have a later serial number. If it doesn't, then that suggests a problem. So let's take a quick peek. 32952. This is a uh, 90,000 series gun. So in my opinion, this gun is authentic in every way. OK, cool. Kind of what I expected. All right. Now the big argument, because this guy never agrees with me. <laughs> How does a gun in that shape going for? There are a couple of drawbacks to this gun not being full mint or anywhere near it. Grips are a little loose. I would say as it sits for what it is, the price would be retail about $2,000. OK. Thanks, man. Rick. You're the best. Now that we know this thing is genuine, I would love to have it for the shot. And these Remingtons don't come around nearly as often as Colts do. But it all comes down to the price. So you want to give me $2,000? No. You don't? $1,500. bucks. 1500 So we're going to kind of do this little dance here again. But huh? It's not a dance. Okay. I mean, I, I want to give you 1500 bucks for it. And... OK, 1900 No. <laughs> No, I think fifteen hundred bucks is a fair price. I can't do fifteen. I, 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 you know, I did pay seventeen for it. Uh, I'll just cut to the chase. Sixteen hundred. I'll lose a hundred bucks on it. <sighs> just the fact that you're a really good customer and keep on bringing me guns. Yeah. All right. OK. Appreciate it. Uh, we wound up settling on 1600 That's a little less than I hope to get for it. That's a very nice gun. You know, I got enough of it that it worked. 
Wow. This thing is nice. This is a cash me out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.